What lovely weather, minus two degrees, but lovely. Paul wants us, me and him, to go on a UK tour. What? Yeah, that's right, Paul wants to go on a UK tour. I think because he's very popular on my videos, it's gone to his head. Hello, this is your captain speaking. I hope you enjoyed the flight. Somebody seems to be very excited that we have the man with the hat and Paul on board. But anyway, he's got some really good connections. I mean, really good. Or where no one can get permission to dig. He's got an inside contact and he's got permission to dig. And I can't tell you any more than that, although I really, really want to. Also, he wants us to do, in the spring in 2019, a UK tour. And it won't be filming with, well, me doing the filming. It's somebody filming us. It's a major corporation who's interested in following myself and Paul, digging in Ireland, all around the UK, Scotland and Wales, and then going over to Jersey and finishing off there. And if this comes off, thanks to Paul, it'll be quite, a big thing I'm I'm excited but also a bit skeptical that it'll come off anyway today um, because I haven't been out digging since the last time with Paul I came around as quick as I can uh, I've just watched the new uh, new video on YouTube with the man with a hat and there's no Paul there's no Paul there's no Paul I'm sorry but there's no Paul um, I have been sent four coins. Now, to get a free coin ring, you have to send three exactly the same, or very similar, as close as possible, silver coins. I make one into a ring for you, and I keep the two as my payment. So I can also then make the money back from the rings that you've sent me, the coins that you've sent me. But John has sent me that huge, huge coin, because he wants a big y and a quarter y and three quarters big one chunky thick ring so he sent me three coins to keep for myself because he can't send me three of those and um, but that's what he wants so he's given me three coins and in there was a christmas card as well thank you very much john merry christmas stephen family best wishes john and jackie i finally have a coin big enough for a coin ring my size is y and three quarters I would like the fat tie design. Thank you very much. So if you're interested as well in getting a free coin ring, that's sending me three coins, or identical, or similar. I'll send uh, one back to you as a coin ring and keep two for payment. You can see details on this in this video description. So I'm now gonna be folding that huge one into a coin ring and show you how it turns out. Let's get going. Just look at the size of that monster. It is huge. I hope it's genuine. We'll soon tell. The last time I had a coin that size, which somebody sent to me, it was actually a, a Chinese fake with a brass middle. And I had to abandon it. So I'll better tell as soon as I punch the hole, whether it's fake or not. Let's have a go. Right, we already have a problem, and this will take a very large coin. In fact, John saw a Morgan dollar that he originally wanted, and that would have been fine. That doesn't even fit into my hole punch. I've got to do it by hand. Right, this is a huge risk. Um, I know I haven't got any dies big enough to start the folding process for this, so everything is going to be improvising, and that means possible problems. Now, to punch this by hand, the first stage, is going to be by eye, so I need to make sure it doesn't move by putting on a piece of card, and then, <coughs> don't use this very often, use that that's going to need a big hole in the middle so we'll go for the larger size <clears throat> I 
and this is where you have to look from above and make sure that that punch hole is going to be exactly dead center and it's difficult to do by eye that isn't too bad There's no turning back after this if it's wrong the only thing I can do is file it out the silver should be soft Whoa. that didn't sound good well you can see that I've got that fold first fold second fold on that huge thick coin but I'm not going to show you how I did it because I wouldn't want anybody to copy me and ruin their coin it was a gamble I've got a little bit of a wobble on the on the fold but I can't help that but it can be straightened that's not a problem it was so difficult to do and looking at a couple of friends coin rig websites I've seen that people have struggled with coins this size and now prefer not to do them and I don't think I'll do another one that has been lucky so far but I'm not out of the woods yet it could still split and everything could go wrong Sorry John, I'm afraid your coin ring is dead. And that is what happened. It was really difficult to get into a folding die. And because my tools go to a maximum size, the coin slipped in the die and came out looking like that. I was going to reduce it to make that into your size because it's far bigger than it should be at the moment. But it was just too big it was too thick and my tools could not handle it I usually work with fine silver or soft copper that was just too much for my tools I'm really sorry about it mate but there is nothing I can do the only thing I can do perhaps is to make you a coin ring from one of my coins but I'll speak to you first and see what you say well I'm hope that John's gonna be happy with that instead one ounce fine silver that's 99.9% .9 silver a Morgan dollar and it looks lovely let's hope I have more luck with that at least it fits into the die guaranteed a dead centre hole every time yep that looks better so much better this is 99.9 .9 fine grade silver uh, I now know from researching the other coin it was a low grade silver with lots of hard metals in that's what made it so difficult to work with apart from being oversized so that looks like it's coming on nicely Now this has been through the reducing die once, I'm going to turn it over now and do it again. Just checking it every now and again to make sure it's not buckled in the die, otherwise it'll come out looking like the other one. <laughs> it's a little press, stop, have a look, yep, again, all the way through to the bottom. You can see it's there, it's all the way through. Now that has turned out stunning. Now if we stick the ring on the mandrel, you'll see it comes down to here, which is the largest size. That really, I suppose, needs to be reduced to there. That's quite a reduction, it's about four sizes. Well, we got there. It's turned out really, really nice. I'm happy with that. Well, it's not finished yet, but 
that's the old coin he sent me which was very low quality silver and very high content of other metals that is a silver Morgan dollar which is only one millimeter smaller than that one and it shows what a difference it makes if you send a good quality silver coin speaking of which look at this I have just received through the post three I'm not sure what they are, haven't opened them yet. Looks like half dollars. And the same there. And this is from the recovery's address up. Stephen, who wants a ring size 10 and a half and a ring size 13 and a half. So he qualifies because he sent me three coins, two to keep, one to ring, and the same again for the other one. So there's no charge to him at all. I make my money. On selling the coin rings that he's sent me really enjoyed watching your videos and thank you for the rings fantastic you can see how to get a free coin ring as well by clicking the link in the video description Wow, that dollar turned out absolutely blinding. Just take a look at this. Here's the results of the coin ring winner giveaway from my last video. Well done. To be in with a chance for the next draw, make sure you're a subscriber, leave a thumbs up, and you comment on this video with the hashtag coin ring giveaway. Hey, Bobby, you won the coin ring giveaway on the man with a hat video. Huh? Yeah, really? <laughs> hey, well, it turned out all right in the end. I'm happy, John's happy. And if you want to see how you can get a free coin ring, see the video over there or see the link at the bottom there. You can also support me in other ways. But whatever you do, please subscribe and don't be a stranger. Catch you later.